like there's this controversial idea i agree with it some people don't but us women we have a timeline so once we yeah. reach 30 like like that transition from 29 to 30 our value goes down and i believe that mm -hmm. because in our 30s like how like yeah we can have kids and all but you know there needs to be a timeline for everything just like we've been talking about the timeline like are you really going to marry a guy after six months no you're not are you going to have kids after three months of your wedding no you're not so everything needs to be like planned out according and i feel like a woman in our 20s we have a higher chance of meeting a really great guy who we can build a family with once you turn 30 ah uh, it's just kind of tough and that's it's, just me being realistic no it's true it's it's one of the great lies that culture and society <laughs> and everything tells women is you go girl climb the corporate ladder get your degrees pay off the debt buy the tesla furnish the house with the ikea shit um you know make yourself attractive to a man and those aren't the things that make women attractive to men the things that make women attractive to men is purity beauty cooperation yeah. um respect um things like that the things that disgust men are when women sleep around with a bunch of dudes right and you know women have different ideas of what that looks like uh you know some will say oh well i was a promiscuous because i only slept with you know five or six guys and there'll be guys out there that will be like five or six is too much sorry you know i've got options over here where it was one or two or she was in a long-term relationship for nine years with one guy and one guy only right like that's a better choice for them um, but it's this, but it's this story where women are just like, they basically turn themselves into men. They take all, all the cues that, that men take, chase excellence, make money, make something of yourself, drive a nice car, buy a nice house. And then they start to do the exact same thing and they get degrees and they accumulate them and they put them on the walls, frame them in mahogany and, you know, they go out there and then they get into their thirties and they're looking around for a guy and they really struggle. And then they start doing stupid shit like freezing eggs. Uh, I mean, there's nothing like frozen peas are not as good as fresh peas. I don't care what people say. It's like one of the dumbest things ever. I don't know why women do this. I see it all the time. And it's like, stop doing it. Like if you want to have kids, get serious about having kids in your 20s. That's that's the time to do it. Not when you're getting old and you become, uh, you, you know, you get in the area of high risk pregnancy tired you know sleep is more important to you in your 30s and 40s than it is in your 20s obviously um but it's a but it's a shame you know and we hear this story over and over again right and we had a girl on uh i don't know two three weeks ago moff and i were talking to this uh gal she was in her 40s and she had a whole bunch of student debt she was in the medical profession i can't remember what she did exactly but she made good money well into six figures um you know she was told by culture and society put off you know, taking a guy seriously, climb the corporate ladder, get degrees, buy your house, buy your car. And she's in her 40s and she hates her life, right? She yep. can't find a guy. She's overweight. She's struggling to lose the weight. She doesn't have time to look after herself. She's working seven days a week to pay for all the stupid shit that she doesn't really care about that doesn't impress a guy, right? And that's how they get there. And it's sad. It's a really sad life. It is. It is. But look, man, this is what... This is what everybody told ladies to do. This is why we have all these gals today that are all these boss girls that are doing all these things. And they're like, no, I'm going to put it off. I'm in situationships right now. And it's like, I get sad when I hear that. You know what I mean? Like, I get sad, man. <laughs> yeah, the tough part is like, they've got to figure it out on their own. I mean, like as much as we have Zorion and as much as oftentimes when we have older women on and the, the say this kind of stuff like everybody thinks they're going to be the exception everybody believes they're going to be the one that's different everybody would love to think oh well that's not going to happen to me um and then okay let me know how that works out for you like we'll, we'll catch up with you in 10 years and it's like here's the thing too look like we are not these guys that are like oh enjoy your cats and boxed wine oh no guy's gonna want you like we don't play that nonsense like we're, we're not about like and here's the thing what a lot of guys get mad about, especially in this space, is that most women are still going to get into marriages and relationships. Even the ones that are OnlyFans models, even the girls with triple digit body counts or whatever, like they're gonna get into relationships. Like hoping for someone's downfall is dumb. Yeah. Right. So, but at the same time, it's like, look, 
I think there's value in having these conversations and maybe if somebody takes something away from it, then, then great. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's, it's difficult because we catch so much flack for these conversations and we have people that are coming on and are living proof. They're like, yeah, like everything that I was told was a lie and I regret it. And now I'm, you know, up the creek without a paddle, so to speak. Yeah, it's sad. Did you guys see the dude that went into the door behind her at the start of the show? I missed that. Yeah. Like, what yeah. was that all about? Like, that was just kind of embarrassing. Like, it seemed like it was like a hookup. Like, what was he in his <laughs> underwear? Yeah. Or- he wasn't even wearing her shirt. That's why I was laughing from the start because she's like, yeah, I'm single. And then she mentioned situationship. Then I recalled the dude walking into the room and closing the door behind him. I'm like, OK. I think yeah. that's something we said had to trigger her. I don't think she's coming back. I don't um, think she's coming back. One thing I do want to say is that it's definitely uncomfortable to hear the truth. <clears throat> and it's reasonable for her to be upset. But eventually she's going to realize like, wow, they were right. When she's 32 and it's going to be hard to find it's going to be much more uncomfortable i mean i mean the sooner that that women have these conversations and hear these truths the better off they're going to be um the the biblical stacks of lies that that people are telling men and women today are just atrocious it's just atrocious and that's why you know we end up in these situations you know that we're in today where it's like you know there's there's lots of guys out there right now that are like, I'm together. I got it. I got money. I got the house. I got everything paid off, but I got no options. Every single chick that I look at is a flaming dumpster fire. Like, what am I supposed to do with this, that, or the other thing? And it's like, okay. I mean, I think there's probably more, there's probably more guys out there that are of relationship or marriage type of caliber than I think there are women unfortunately. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? I think it depends on the area because here in Miami, it's hard to find a good man. Miami's that kind of town like though, isn't it? Maybe in Connecticut or something. I don't know. But Miami's that kind of town, right? I mean, like I asked Myron once when he, when he was running a show for quite a while and I said, look, do you guys cherry pick these bimbos, you know, for the show? He goes, no, that's just a sample of what lives in Miami, right? So it's, it's it's just that kind of town. So I think if you want, I mean, if you're a guy and you want a high quality girl, I would say get the hell out of Miami. That's true. Right. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.